What's up, co-reporters, and welcome back to my channel. The rumor mill has been buzzing with news about Kate Middleton's health ever since she was admitted to the hospital. The palace had been rather mom about what it is that she's doing in the hospital for so long. All they said that she had some kind of abdominal surgery and that she would be spending about two weeks in there, which is rather strange because typically people are discharged from the hospital in a matter of days. Listen, in the U.S., aren't BBL girlies being discharged the same day? And that's a pretty extreme procedure, you know? Um, and so people were wondering, what is it that she's got going on that, A, needs to be kept so secretive while Prince Charles, who was in the hospital around the same time, he was admitted just a, a day or two after Kate for a, a prostate procedure. Um, why is he so open about what he's got going on and why is she so secretive? This is super strange. Rumors really, really started swirling, you guys. The Spanish press said that um, Kate was actually intubated after the surgery. They said that the surgery itself went well, but there were post-operative complications that led to her having to be intubated. And within pretty much like a day or just hours of that story being published, all of a sudden you've got the palace claiming that Kate is at home and now recovering. This is an official statement released by Kensington Ta Palace just moments ago. They said, and I quote, the Princess of Wales has returned home to Windsor to continue her recovery from surgery. She is making good progress. The Prince and Princess wish to say a huge thank you to the entire team at the London Clinic, especially the dedicated nursing staff for the care they have provided. The Wales family continues to be grateful for the well wishes they have received from around the world. Listen, I do find it to be, first of all, I think it's great if this is true that Kate is back home well and resting. But at the same time, I do find it rather strange that there is not a single photo or video of cars or anything like that. Like, you know, a, uh, what do you call that? A motorcade, anything to do with the hospital. Isn't that typically what happens there in um, in the UK? Like, you know, for example, when they give birth, there's always a whole bunch of photographers and reporters and whatnot camped out in front of the hospital, um, but none of that has been seen here. Camilla, for example, she visited Prince Charles about three times that I'm aware of, and each time she was packed going in there, right? Prince William visited Kate only one time. Another thing, which is rather curious, right? She stayed about two weeks. He only visited one time. The kids didn't visit at all. Don't kids typically go visit their parents at the hospital as well? Like sometimes, you know, like I remember I've gone to visit my uh, parent. I think it's only my mom who's been hospitalized, you know, and uh, when I was much younger and like we went to go visit her, we would go visit like every day. Um, so I do find that to be rather strange that the kids never visited even once. Um, the whole thing is just so odd to me. I got to be honest with you guys. But at the end of the day, I'm going to have to take Kensington Palace's word for the state of Kate Middleton's health right now. I'm not saying that the Spanish press is lying. One thing about the Spanish press is that they do have a lot of royalty of course, they've got their own monarchy, but they've got a lot of tea on the British monarchy as well. So I wouldn't so quickly discount what it is that they say. But um, oh, I, I, I'm going to say, OK, listen, Kensington Palace, if this is what you say, all right, good for Kate that she is doing well and that she is uh, at home resting and out of the hospital. Um, and I do wonder if this is something that they're going to open up about a little bit more down the road when it's no longer such a touchy subject, because this does seem like it was a very, very, very serious operation for Kate to even need to be in the hospital for so long. Um, I know I mentioned that Camilla had visited, uh, why do I keep saying Prince Charles? I'm just so used to it. I know that Camilla had visited King Charles at the hospital at least three times. We also are aware that King Charles visited Kate when he was uh, checking in to the hospital for his own operation. And we know that William visited one time. Okay, you guys, so that's just a total of the visits she got. I tried looking to see if her parents visited her at all. Um, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section if you were aware of her parents having visited her in the hospital. But nothing really came up, which I did find to be rather strange as well. After so long, I didn't see anything about her sister Pippa visiting either. And as far as I'm aware, all of these family members do live um, in the area, right? They're not so far from Kate. And I know that they're a very tight knit, like heavily involved family. So I do wonder what could have been the reason for that. 
Wow, you guys, January is off to a rather intense start. Two members of the royal family, the British royal family, in the hospital. One of their hospital stays is mired in mystery and controversy and shocking allegations. And um, Nicki Minaj having a breakdown on TikTok for the past three days over a uh, Megan Thee Stallion verse. There's a lot going on, you guys, okay? Listen, if any more news comes up about this story, I definitely will be making a follow-up video. So if you haven't already, do make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. But in the meantime, let me know what you think about the story of Kate's hospitalization. Um, more notably, I want to know how you feel about the coma rumors that were starting to spread. They started spreading on Spanish television where a woman said that she spoke to a source directly and the source told her that things went well with the surgery, but it was within the um, post-operative um, space where Kate started allegedly having co complications that led to her allegedly being intubated. That is a very, very, very serious and strong claim to make, and especially to make it on the air. Um, but here's the thing, a lot of royal correspondents lie. That's something that we've noticed with like the whole Meghan and Harry thing. They will go out of their way to straight up lie, make things up, exaggerate, and I'm not saying that that's what that woman did, but just keep that in mind. These people are not always honest. They do always have some sort of agenda or motive behind what they're saying. Um, so maybe that is what happened in this case. I truly, truly don't know. All I know is that now Kensington Palace, a couple hours after that rumor uh, got out there, is claiming that Kate is at home. We still don't have any photos of her entering or leaving the hospital or anything like that, but we've got this statement to marinate on. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below, you guys. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.